What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to today, 24 of On Shape. Specifically today, what we're going to be working on is creating this part uh, from drawing two and then by additive modeling. So we're going to make this front L block part and then we're going to make this back part right here and then add it onto it. And then after that, we're going to create a drawing file of it with full dimensions and then we are good to go. First thing you're going to do is you need to have this in front of you, either virtually or in paper. Um, that way you can reference it as I'm referencing it uh, uh, on here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create Part Studio. Actually, I'm going to do it back. You know what? I'm just going to take this first part I already made and make it disappear. And then we're going to go ahead and just create this part again. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Sketch. I'm going to click on this front plane right here. Right click, hit View Normal 2. And I'm going to draw this overall, just this L shape right here. Now, it doesn't matter too much on uh, getting these dimensions just right, because I'm going to do all the dimensions here in a moment. Uh, just to show you that when you uh, dimensions, it'll throw in automatic constraints. So very, very slightly, you can see that this left lean over here is causing not necessarily an L block, perfect L block, but as we add in our dimensions, it'll look better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on, uh, after I've created this, hit D on my keyboard for dimension. And this top part is one, two squares wide, and the scale is two, is two squares or an inch. So this is gonna be one inch. And then we've got, it looks like one, two, three, four. So this is gonna be two inches. And so on and so forth. Two inches again. Now notice between each time I dimension, I'm not hitting D on my keyboard again, I'm still in dimensioning mode. So I'm just now clicking on the lines that I want to dimension. This bottom one is six squares wide, so that means it's three inches. And last but surely not least, there we go. There's a little bit of, uh, I say, grayed out dimension here, and that's because this is over sketched. This three is already made true by this two and the one here, and so, we actually don't even need it. So we get that front L block, so I'm gonna hit the green check mark, and let's go ahead and extrude this on forward. How far though? Well, I see my front L block here is actually, has a thickness of one and a half blocks, so the depth here is gonna be three quarters of an inch. Okay, we hit the green check mark, and now we're good to go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to rotate to the back side and we're going to add on this back part. So I'm gonna click on this back part right here and right click, hit view normal too. And we're gonna draw on this back piece right here. So I'm just gonna use L for line. We're gonna draw all the way around and just get that overall shape in there. Hit D on my keyboard. And we notice that the height here is one, two, three, four. So this is going to be two inches. And this dimension right here is going to be one inch. One inch again. Oh, over dimension, but it doesn't matter. We should be good to go. Just make everything, it looks good. Now I could tell if I paid attention that my sketch is fully constrained because all the lines in my sketch are black. My area grayed in is shaded. And so that means I know this is a complete profile with complete dimensions. Hit the green check mark and we are good to go. All right now, shift, shift E in our keyboard and click on those two parts right there. Make sure this is an add, not a new, because if we do new, it's gonna be two separate parts. We want this to be all one part. So we've added on that back side. Hit the green check mark and we are looking good. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw this over into a drawing file. For now, um, I've been tinkering around with title blocks and how to figure that part out. So we're just gonna use a generic title block for now. And this is in inches. So when I click on title blocks on the on shape here, there's inch and then there's millimeter. So make sure you click on inches because since our native units are in inches, we want to stick with inches on our drawing file. Okay, it doesn't matter which part I bring in because both are going to be the same here. And we're going to click on our front. While second click will be our right. 
front and then top views. So we got a front, right, and top. And then we're throwing our isometric for good measure. Okay, I'm gonna hit right click and hit show shaded view on that ISO. All we need to do now is throw in our dimensions. So we're doing dimensions. I'm gonna hit D on the keyboard again, like I would for the drawing the part. And I'm gonna click on, and I'm gonna work on my height first. So I'm gonna do that. The height here is gonna be one inch. Height here is going to be one inch. And then I'm gonna do my total height. So what I've done now is I've worked my way upwards to that total height range. We're going to make sure that I did all my heights. So this line is and that line is dimensioned. This line to this line is dimensioned and all the way. So we're looking good there. Next thing I'm going to do is dimension these other lines right here. So still in dimension mode. If you want to know if you're in dimension mode or not, this is me grayed out up top. So I'm going to dimension this line right here. Let's dimension these two lines right here. And there we go. Now, some people are going to be like, uh, wanting to say, okay, can you dimension this other ways? Absolutely. And if you follow that dimensioning flowchart, there's a little bit of a problem with this dimension right here. And that's we have some crossing going on right here. In class, we're going to hit more specifically in depth when it comes to dimensioning and make sure we're dimensioning correctly. But I just want to get in the habit of, do we know how to make a part? Do we know how to throw it in a drawing file? And do we know how to add dimensions? If we're not following those dimension guidelines perfectly, that's okay. We are learning this as we go. Okay, now we've got all of our height, we got all of our width. What about our depth? And so the depth here would need to be dimensioned as well as my total depth right here. Okay, let's move our isometric. I'm gonna hit escape, P, escape key and move our isometric out of the way. So we got our depth completely dimensioned and everything looks good. So what we can say now is since there's no dimensions on that top view, I actually don't even need it. So I'm just gonna click on this and delete it. And we're good to go, folks. There we go, we've made our first uh, part using additive modeling specifically, and then we dimensioned it as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know um, down in the comment section or in class or through the variety of means you can get a hold of me. Good luck. If you have any questions, absolutely let me know and I'll be wonderful to help you out. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe as they are super helpful. That way I know who's watching my videos and kind of where you're from. Good luck and I'll see you on the next video.